Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about ONNX. And the ONNX is the Open Neural Network Exchange. And this is an open uh, ecosystem that will empower AI developers to do their work with one standard. And as we all know, if there is at least five standards in the market and you don't agree with them, you create another standard. And this new standard is created by Microsoft and is widely supported by different uh, vendors. So it is used by Intel, NVIDIA, uh, Tricent, Qualcomm, Vespa, Windows and so on, but uh, no Google in there. Uh, but they have support for Cafe2, LibSVN, MATLAB, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, and so on. There is a lot of different neural networks that they support, but this is another standard. <laughs> if we didn't have enough of them yet, we have now one more, uh, but this, standard as it can take models from one kind of a model and then rewrite them as another kind of model uh, because models are very similar. I thought it would be an interesting um, thought experiment for myself to take one of these models written in PyTorch for instance and create a tensile light model of it and what I could learn during that process. So the application that you see on screen here is a standard uh, MIST uh, network where you train something to recognize numbers and then uh, there is a very simple Android application where you put in numbers and uh, with your finger and it tries to detect what number it actually is. And it uses a TensorFlow Lite model. To use this application, you can follow the Git repository link down below, download, create this application. The only thing you would need to supply is a MNIST TensorFlow Lite model that you put in the asset folder. So that's a pretty simple uh, thing to get running. But what I tried to create is a conversion script to take this PyTorch model over to TensorFlow Lite. So if we jump over to some code here, first off, in this example, we need to install some stuff. In my case, I was on a Debian machine that didn't have anything. So I installed Python 3, Python 3 pip. So I had the Python environment on my machine. Then I installed Git so I can get the Git repository. And I also wanted to transfer my model. So I installed Pure FTPD. Pure FTPD is not required for anyone if you are doing this on a local machine. That was just so I could copy my model over from this um, virtual machine. And as this is just a conversion of a model, you don't need that much power, you just need the right versions of different libraries. So they actually um, suggested you can use PyEnv uh, to create an environment and then put this in. You can also do it in a Docker environment if you like, but you need Python 3, you need to install TorchVision, you need to install ONNX, you need to install TensorFlow, and you need to install O nnx underscore tensorflow tf. So those are the libraries that you need to install. Then you can uh, download my little script here and run Py uh, Python 3 PyTorch to TensorFlow Lite uh, with the model that you want to transfer and then a directory where you want to put the result because it will, will create both a TensorFlow or both an ONNX uh, model, it will create save a uh, saved model and it also will create a TensorFlow Lite model. So let's go over to this little script here. First off, uh, in the beginning here, we actually need the declaration of the model. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that because of PyTorch, uh, because how it's set up there that you can't load a model without having the actual information about the model. But in this case, I found a model with a definition on how that model was actually uh, created. So I just put that in here. And then we also need some imports. I import sys and os to do different system and operating system uh, operations. I need a torch, torch nn, torch uh, nn functional, as we use that in the setup of the model. I uh, imported ONX, uh, ONNX, and then we needed collections from the order dict, also used in the model down here. Of course, I needed TensorFlow, I needed Autograph for variables down in the model here, and I also needed the ONNX dash TensorFlow backend, and I needed the prepare function there. So what we do down here is that we load our TensorFlow uh, Torch dictionary. Dictionary. So I guess that is the current state of the model uh, when it's trained. Then I will create an instance of that model uh, as it's created in when it's actually trained. And then I will load in the specific state that is saved on disk. And I haven't worked that much with PyTorch, so that this might not be required. This might not might be something that I have misunderstood somewhere. Then, to export this model when we have actually loaded it, you only need to create some dummy uh, input, and then you export Torch uh, ONNX export, and you will get a trained model in this file here, mist ONNX, and that will contain the model and also the trained data. After that, I will load that model in again. So I will have this ONNX model here. I will prepare that model, and then I will get a TensorFlow representation here <laughs> that is not the actual TensorFlow model, it's just a representation. And this representation uh, contains everything, uh, the variables and all and everything, but you can't actually save it as a normal model because this is a frozen graph. So it's a frozen model. Uh, so I will uh, uh, output some in, uh, output, print the uh, different inputs and outputs of the model and also print the tensor dictionary so I know a little bit more information about it. I will uh, save the graph of the model. So that's saved here. And then I will do a, uh, a little bit of a converter on this TensorFlow frozen graph. I will read it in as a frozen graph and I will use the inputs and outputs and convert that, <laughs> create a conversion, a converter from that and then convert that over to a TensorFlow Lite model and that TensorFlow Lite model I will uh, write out to disk again as NIST TensorFlow Lite. So there were a lot of different steps in this script but it's not that complicated when you know what the different formats are. Uh, the most thing that I, most hard thing that I actually didn't figure out during this process or that I had a hard time figuring out was that the PyTorch model was frozen and so was the ONNX model. So I couldn't create a saved model from those. I couldn't uh, save as a saved model. I can only export the graph as a frozen graph and then convert that to a TensorFlow Lite. So that took a while for me to figure out. But after I've done that, if I run this script, I will get the TensorFlow Lite model. I will put that into my Android application and you will get the result that you saw earlier in the video. I hope that you found this video interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. What kind of machine learning network or machine learning 
framework are you using when you are training your models? Leave a comment down below with that or any other questions, suggestions that you have. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.